time to know the top stories of the day. I am Ace Perez, and this is News Bit Tonight. Good news to all Dabawenos living in Kalinan, Kabantian, and Lasang as bus services will now cater these new routes. For the details, Ralph Yemit. The peak hours augmentation bus service or FABS will now be catering new routes after the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board or LTFRB posted online the granting of special permits on Wednesday, November 20. LTFRB Davao posted on its Facebook page the Memorandum Circular Number 2019-062 or the opening of applications for the grant of special permits for routes Kalinan, Kabantian, and Lasang via Sasa. LTFRB also said the City Transport and Traffic Management Office or CTTMO Head Judicio Abude requested the additional routes pursuant to the public clamor for transportation services during peak hours and recommended to utilize regular buses or those bus units used by provincial operators apart from the low floor and low floor entry or city buses. The agency said the new FABS buses will operate from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. in the morning and 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. in the evening. The Kalinan route will be traversing from Grand Mall Kalinan to San Pedro Cathedral, while the Cabantian route will be from NCCC Cabantian to Santa Ana Avenue, and Lasang route will be from Lasang Overpass to Chonco Street in front of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas or Central Bank. The issued order states that bus trips can only load and unload passengers to designated bus stops. LTFRB said bus fares will start at 10 pesos with a minimum distance of 5 kilometers an additional 2 pesos and 20 centavos will be added for succeeding kilometers. The agency said the order will be effective until a revocation order will be issued. The order will take place once published in a newspaper. Ralph Lemmet, Newsbits Tonight. Online sexual exploitation on children or OSEC cases are almost impossible to detect if not with the cooperation of international authorities. An agent involved in the investigation of OSIC cases in the Philippines who requested anonymity said they only receive an OSIC case through a referral from international police. He cited the fact that OSIC is a hidden crime that usually involves close relatives of the victim. Thus, it is almost impossible for them to receive through a walk-in complainant. He added that this is one of the factors that they have not received information coming from the community or neighbors of OSIC suspects Thus, international police or organization involvement is necessary as the first step in investigating OSEC cases. He also said neighbors of OSEC suspects may have knowledge about the crime but don't know what are the procedures in reporting to the authorities. The agent said one of the steps the government is doing to combat OSEC is through giving extensive training for all authorities involved in resolving OSEC cases. To check more stories, visit our website www.sunstar.com.ph slash Davao, subscribe on our YouTube channel, and follow our social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also grab a copy of Sunstar Davao at Davao Central Convenience Stores, 7-Eleven, and nearest news outlets. That's all you need to know for tonight. Have a great weekend.